Hi Stampers, I'm Meg from Loven Stamps and I have a whale done project to share with you. Um, this one features, surprise, the designer series paper, which you know I love if you've been catching my videos, um, and also the cute whale. So we're gonna bring him back. So not every project using this stamp set has to use the whale. You can be um, a little bit selective and use the pieces that you want, um, turtles, uh, seaweed, jellyfish, all kinds of things, but the whale is pretty punny. Ha, 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 get it? Yeah, I know. Sorry, couldn't help it. Um, so let me give you some tips. This is actually a really great card because it features several of the different designer series papers. And if you wanted to make a whole bunch of a single card, uh, this is the one for you because you, from a single designer series paper package, can get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, 12, times four, you can get 48 of the same card out of one package of designer series paper. So if you are one of my new demonstrators and you're thinking, oh, I'd like to do this card, but I, there's not enough designer series paper in the package, this is a, this is a project for you. So um, one of the things I love to do is give tips to demonstrators on our team. So if you are interested in learning more about joining my Loven Stampfuls demonstrator family by signing up with me as a demonstrator, uh, June is the month to do it because you get a free bundle, which could be an extra $60 for free basically. So uh, ask me more about that and let me give you some tips for making this card. All right, so like I said, well done. We're gonna feature the whale. Um, he has some cool shading to him on the stamp itself, which is great. Uh, but on this card, I'm gonna give you a tip for doing a little bit of ombre whale look because I mean, who doesn't love an ombre whale, right? So I'm gonna use two colors, Just Jade, which is one of the new in colors and Pacific Points. And this technique is a great one. Um, you want to be a little bit careful. So if you are um, doing a lot of these, you'd want to clean your stamp definitely between each one um, because you're basically going back and forth between two ink colors. So if we were, um, I picked two colors that are pretty dark for this, so there's not too much mixing um, of intense color. But if I was going to do, say, like, um, Calypso Coral and Pacific Point. Um, I would want to make sure that my stamp was really clean. And my my um, Stampin' Chamois, which comes, uh, not in the case, but it comes like as this purple thing here, and I've put it in an extra stamp case just to keep it um, ready for when I need it to keep it wet. It's a great way. It's like an ink magnet. It just pulls the ink right off your stamp. So um, you also can, if you have some disaster where you accidentally stamp like a black bumblebee in the middle of your new bumblebee ink pad, um, you can use a tissue, just a piece of Kleenex to blot out that extra ink and then use um, an ink refill to just go ahead and re-ink the pad to sort of overwhelm that color um, so that you don't have too much damage. So it's all's not lost if you realize you've made an error. All right, ready for the ombre whale? So what I'm going to do is get my cardstock here ready, and I am going to stamp um, ink just the bottom edge there. Can you kind of see how we've inked just the bottom edge of our whale? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to ink once, full strength, all over with Pacific Point. Um, I want to make sure I get a good image, so I'm going to pop a... Um, stamping pad under here, a piercing pad, and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it. And when I take it off, I get that really cool um, green-blue whale effect. So you can do, um, this is a, just a really neat technique. If you wanna do three colors, you could you know, ink the top of him in Blackberry Bliss and then finish, but um, remember that too much of this is a little bit hard on your ink pads, so, uh, but but not, not, not to do. Does that make sense? It's worth it, it's a cool effect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and punch him so that I've got him ready for our um, piece. And then while I'm punching, I'm going to snag um, a little scrap of Pacific Point. There it is. Um, a little, that's what I get for cleaning up, right? A little scrap of Pacific Point, and I'm gonna use it to um, go ahead and pull out the top pieces there so that I have the um, cute little spray. Whoa, I lost a piece. Oh, there it is on my ink pad. <laughs> All right. So backing up to our card, we'll kind of slide him apart. I, I love the whale, so I had to kind of get to him first. All right, I'm gonna come back here to our card. Our base is specific point ink to match our whale. And I'm gonna go fold that in half. And then we have our designer series papers, um, which I picked all ones that go really great with the Just Jade. So they're um, different patterns on each side, and of course you could mix and match. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to layer these here on my 
paper to kind of make sure I like the order of the pattern that I'm putting them in, okay, which I do. I'm happy with that. Okay, and then I'm gonna kind of fine tune a little bit so that I get them really pretty much exactly where I want them. And then one at a time, I'm going to go ahead and add adhesive to them and put them back. And the reason that I do that one at a time is that then I can kind of re-space as I'm going if I need to. And I like to start at the top and the bottom um, for this kind of thing where our, our cardstock is exactly the size. Um, and I started the top and the bottom so that again, I can re-space as I go into the middle. If I started the bottom and just march all my way up, then I could end up with a place where it doesn't work at the top. And I kind of think the fish go this direction on this particular piece. This designer series paper um, is really pretty. It has a big fishy swirl in it. So you kind of have to watch the piece you're using to see which direction you want. So, all right. So I didn't get these exactly spaced, uh, but you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. I've got space in between. And by the time I get my whale on there, he is gonna be the cutest part anyway. So I'm not gonna worry too much about the fact that it's not perfectly, perfectly lined up. Okay, so I am layering here on piece of Blackberry Bliss. And this layer is really, really narrow. I just made it an eighth of an inch bigger than the Just Jade that it, um, goes under and I like that because it's just um, that narrow layer just to help uh, the layers just really pop off the page. So think about that sometime instead of using um, quarter inch layers, try an eighth inch layer to see how you like it. All right, so we have our card base and this card is just a great setup. It's just begging for a focal point. So I am going to grab my um, piece of vellum here and go ahead and set this up. Um, now, I could glue this on, but I don't know where to put the adhesive because any adhesive that I put on the back of this vellum is gonna show through. So before I do that, I need to get my little whale friend on here, and I'm gonna use the C ribbon, um, the Pool Party uh, Sheer Ribbon, which is part of the uh, Whale Done, or the Whale of a Time Sweet Collection, which all of these pieces come from. Um, and so to stick this on the back, I'm just going to go ahead and pop a whole mess of my stamp and seal on there. And then I'm going to fold my ribbon in half and layer my whale on top. Okay. So he's got a, got a jaunty angle and I'm going to cut a, another little angle there. So he's finished. And then to add him to my card, I'm going to use a, an edge piece from my Stampin' Dimensionals here. See how I've cut that? And I'm going to layer it right across and then peel the backing off and stick this on my vellum circle. Okay, I'm going to edge him a little bit towards the top so that I have some space for my greeting at the bottom. All right, now do you see, I can go ahead and put my adhesive on the back here with no fear of it showing because I have hidden that with my whale. So I'm pop this guy here. We're going to have him edge off the paper just a little. All right, and our greeting for this, um, instead of Whale Done, which is also a great card, I'm gonna go ahead and do Thanks a Ton and pop this here. Love photopolymer, because I can see if I'm getting my pieces straight and exactly where I want them. And then I'm gonna cut some banner ends. You can definitely use the um, banner triple punch for this if you don't really love to cut those yourself. And I feel like he's just a little bit wide for our card. So I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer and pop this under here. And I'm going to trim a little bit off the bottom of our greeting. So I'm gonna get that kind of straight where I want it, pop this on, just hold the handle. This trimmer is amazing and it just cuts right across. Now, of course, my little banner tails aren't really centered anymore. So we'll just go ahead and slide that up. And then there we go, okay. All right, so we have our thanks a ton, which is gonna go on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the Stampin' Dimensional too, just because I can. And this guy goes down here. I'm gonna layer it under our whale, okay? And then we need our little spout pieces, right? The ones that we punched at the beginning. So I'm going to use my green lid glue or my um, uh, multi-purpose liquid adhesive. So if you're searching for it in my online store, it's called multi-purpose liquid adhesive, uh, not green lid glue. Although I really feel like they should add green lid glue to the search parameters. 
I'll, I'll have to mention that to somebody. See, see what we can do. All right. And then that tiny little dot there is really easiest to add with a take your pick tool. So I'm going to pick it up there and then I just use my fingernail to pop it behind. Okay. So there is a front of our card. We clearly need something on the inside of our card. We wouldn't want to leave that without. And let's see, I think the bubbles here, which I haven't used before, I'm going to add some bubbles there and maybe I'll do them in uh, just Jade since it's handy. Let's see. We'll add the little bubbles. There we go. So that kind of brings our cards together um, or our colors together from the front of our card. So we could grab our eggplants if we wanted to. Now the um, project, this project is one of four that I'm showing in the month of June that are all featured in a PDF tutorial that's available to um, for free if you order uh, from my online store during this month. So um, the PDF includes cutting sizes, tips for stamping, um, photos, things like that, and a full supply list. And if you wanna make the cards exactly the way they're shown, um, the nice thing is that they are designed, I designed them um, so that they would use a limited number of supplies. So you're you're getting the most out of the pieces that you purchase for this. So um, you can check my website at lovenstamps.com under card kits to go and look for information um, about this month's kit, which, um, or this month's tutorial, which uses the, the limited supply set that's shown on, on my page there. Um, the other thing to know is if you order at least $50 before shipping and tax from my online store during uh, the month of June, then you're gonna get um, two card kits in the mail. And those are pre-cut pieces all ready to go, um, drop to your mailbox, and then you can either make them exactly as they're designed or you can use what you have on hand to do something different. Um, if you want to make them exactly as they're designed, then you'll want to check out that supply list and have um, on hand at least the stamp set and the coordinating whale punch and the um, ink colors that we're using. So let's see, I have them all here. Pacific Point, Just Jade, Blackberry Bliss, and Calypso Coral. So anyway, lots of fun opportunities this month, and I am really loving um, this fun stamp set. Just any anything punny makes me happy. So thanks so much for watching, and uh, I look forward to sharing more projects with you soon. Happy stamping.